we've seen the first resignation of a top Israeli military official over Hamas's October 7th attack. Now, Ehron Halifa, who's a major general in the Israeli military and in charge of intelligence, tendered his resignation. He said that he could no longer serve in his position. He was one of the first people to come out of the gate after the Hamas attack that saw 1,200 people killed and over 250 others taken hostage back to the Gaza Strip. He immediately took responsibility. Now, that contrasts with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, who hasn't said that he has bears any responsibility for that attack. Meanwhile, we're starting to see some more friction between Israel and the United States. Uh, according to Israeli media reports, an Israeli military unit of ultra-Orthodox soldiers may be sanctioned under the Leahy Act that bars U.S. aid going towards military units that are involved in human rights abuses. Hasn't happened yet, but right now there's enough Israeli officials and others commenting, suggesting that their move may be coming soon and further strain that relationship as Israel continues to weigh a potential ground offensive in Rafah, that city in southern Gaza where so many people are, and as 34,000 Palestinians are already dead in this conflict.